Now, the moment you put cameras into the parliament, what happened is, um, and it's not just one thing, right? Many, it, there is a positive. People get to see what their representatives are doing. But the moment you put the cameras in the parliament, what happens is then you start performing for the camera. So then you have these guys who will get up, they'll shout, they'll scream, they'll throw microphones at the speaker. Because I'm doing that not for the debate, but I'm doing it for my voters back home. So that my voters back home, uh, if I'm from Darjeeling, they know that like, oh, So we have that risk happening now in courts where you have cameras placed in courts for the live proceedings. And very soon, I have a feeling, I could be wrong, we could have uh, like Hollywood sequences where the lawyers and Dr. Toma will tell me if that's true, will be performing for an audience, right? Where you have got dialogue baji happening and not so much the justice part of it. So that's one uh, big problem because that is what, and that's what happened with television. So if I am growing up with a sort of idea, okay, and it's going against my thought, then I may, that it may, it may rise up to different sort of conflicts. So that's how wars happen, na? that's how political conflicts happen because their ideology is not matching with someone else's ideology. The freedom of the expression in his speech. Tara, freedom of the speech and the expressions, it comes with the restrictions. I can stretch my hand so long as it doesn't touch the nose of the other. Okay, the moment it touches the other, then there is a restriction. So like, uh, what is a disagreement? It's a basically uh, considering the opinion of other not having a judgmental because I mean I listen is like a judgmental so like a media I'll connect with that social media mom if you see the intolerance abusive languages you see abuses languages quite often been used so now respectfully disagreeing what that is what the law is also principles of the legal perspective our point of view, they we don't agree with that. But then, what happened from the layman points of view? Much like even someone, hey, my workil, the meal is out. That particular workil, so now we are going to go up further. So, cost to help, you know. So, the, our client do not expect us to speak at the other side. Bolne ke dil paisa kya hai? Allah, arey banta zaman problem hai. As till mala doubt like, hey, rakhte the nahi, bolde the hote ho. Ma hasta hi the ok karte the meal is in our mind. So that is how the moment we have an uh, opinion which is not agreeing means then opposition. You know, that conflict is there in the opinion, conflict. But telling rather now coming to what you say, say it's a, how do we balance now? Start by our own selves, by, you know, respectfully, uh, you know, listening to what the other person has to say while maintaining your opinion also like ma'am said that everyone is entitled to their opinion in the democratic society but just because I have my opinion does not mean I have to force it upon you okay so you can agree to disagree okay and you can give time to that other person you can time you can give space and time to yourself also everyone does not know everything so you should also know that you know you know you do not know everything so give time to yourself as much as you're giving time to listen to the other person give time to yourself try to try to reflect on what are the things that you're thinking about try to reflect on what are the things that you know you should be thinking about what are the things the other person is saying how is it affecting you so i think if we start with us being individuals okay if we start being a better person that's how our children will also look at us will learn that is how you know you can it's like a ripple effect that can happen hey sandar basama jodde mero arko question dr guma tibote ma'am lai freedom of expression ko kura auncha jati bela hami yo discussion ko kura garchau ya afno vichar haru express garne kura garchau teti bela freedom of expression ko kura auncha tara bhanne garincha sang sangai tesle tesma limitation haru pani cha त्यो बाउंड्रीजहरु क्रस गर्नु हुँदैन भन्ने कुरा पनि छ हाम्रो अहिले जुन भजनको कुरा आयो यसलाई पनि हामी त्यहाँ इक्जाम्पलको रूपमा लिन सकिन्छ होला है र यस्तो अवस्थामा जति पनि यो रेस्पेक्टफुली डिसएग्री गर्ने कुरालाई चाहिँ लिगल फ्रेमवर्क्स र सोसियल स्ट्राटेजिसहरू प्रयोग गरेर हामीले कस्तो प्रकारले यो फ्रिडम अफ एक्सप्रेसनलाई पनि अझै रक्षा गर्दै बचाउँदै यसलाई हामीले कन्स्ट्रक्टिभ डायलगतिर लान सकिन्छ वा त्यो कन्स्ट्रक्टिभ डायलगलाई विकास गर्न सकिन्छ जस्तो लाग्छ तपाईँलाई थ्याङ्क यू पहिले तपाईँको टपिक आउनुभन्दा अगाडि चाहिँ आई वुड लाइक टु थ्याङ्क यू द अर्गनाइजेसन छिमेकी 
uh, or NGO and our press club of Sikkim. But you will debate Jun Se Layu. Kina Bane to be very honest with uh, the audience. Audience is also I'm very interested because what has happened is a diverse. I'm not as audience for me diverse. Thank you. Very interesting. So. Uh, deserving uh, respectfully is also somewhere considering the diverse views together. Tele karta kiri mana lagsa ma afela hi lagsa ita sikkim ma chaki chawaning. At a time I feel there's no space, there's space constant to speech. There's a limitation. So tele karta kiri I think is to kalko debate hunu chay. Ita mai sikkim society ma chay mala jaruri lagsa okay. Can you for tele karta kiri thank you so much for the organization and having been considered me as a one of the panelists. Thank you, all this possible. Now, carrying forward with the legal perspective on this issue, okay? I was just on Hamro Kanun Ma, like a freedom of speech, Article 19, 1, uh, Clause A, the freedom of the expression and the speech. Tara, freedom of the speech and the expressions, it comes with the restrictions. I can stretch my hand so long as it doesn't touch the nose of the other, okay? Moment it touches the other, then there is a restriction. So like uh, what is a disagreement? It's a basically uh, considering the opinion of other not having a judgmental. Because I mean, I listen, like them judgmental, so like a media, I'll connect with that. Social media, mom, if you see the intolerance, abusive languages, you see abuses languages quite often been used. So now respectfully disagreeing what? That is what the law is also. principles of. Uh, you should be heard the other side. Kunai pani manchila na suni ke na cannot condemn. That is the law. Telegar tabile tapale court ma pani yenu paala. If I represent a party, a one party A, supposing Sikkim uh, press club of Sikkim, if I am represent, if I am their counsel, mo ma ko vaki loru pani, I go to the court. Uh, I'll give you an example. The, we have a culture of disagreeing respectfully in the legal framework. Kasari panda kari. We address our opinion as a learned counsel. So you will see them hearing a learned counsel. So uh, then the, even you have heard the judges saying, uh, my brother and sister. So there is a lot of uh, the culture of dissent is within our framework. We will argue when our case is in the court and nell and truth. But the moment we finish our argument, we go outside, we talk to the other council. After all, we are friends. <coughs> the legal perspective, our point of view, they we don't agree with that. But then, what happened from the layman points of view? Much like even someone, hey, my workil, the meal is out. That particular workil, so now we are going to go up further. So, cost to help, you know. So, the, our client do not expect us to speak at the other side. Bolne ke dil paisa kya hai? La, aare banta zan problem hai. So that is how the moment we have an uh, opinion which is not agreeing means then opposition. You know, that conflict is there in the opinion, conflict. But telling other now coming to what you say, it's a, how do we balance now? So there is a restriction, reasonable restrictions, is there law itself give a reasonable. So likewise, there are a lot of a judgment. Supreme Court court judgments where they have uh, dissent, the voice, what is a disagreeing? Disagreeing is about critical thinking, uh, one is a dis, uh, dissenting. So, tapele dissenting judgments are rudekchan, dissenting judgment like you see recently ADM Jabalpur, that is a very famous case right from the emergency go 19, Silver wherein it says that during the emergency period, whether the people's uh, fundamental rights when it is suspension, uh, suspended, can the people take a request, any of the legal records? Banerathu case, Mabako, this case is also known as a habeas corpus case, very famous case. So, there are a majority of the judgment, there is a minority, HR Khanna. So, majority of the judges has said that no, during the emergency, declaration of emergency, 356 month, all the fundamental rights of the human. Uh, Peoples are suspended, you cannot do so. But HR cannot disagree with that, dissented with it. Uh, they said to proposition, fundamental right is so pivotal. If these are important, for you just the emergency lag was, fundamental right cannot be suspended. But then what has happened? I like KTS 
Putsami case, I mean case Putsami case. Junche Adar case, you all know about that Adar case, Adarma. There was a lot of Adar Act IO. Adar Act was challenged. There is every chance of Tapeko, hand for figure, ko, ke ko, uh, duplication, unu saksa, misuse, unu saksa bane. there was an interesting debate. The debate got the right to privacy, ra, fundamental right cannot be a, 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 a shun away, cannot be taken away even in the course of a, uh, emergency. Ma. Period of anera, same uh, DY Chandra Churko Bautio, uh, Agari ADM Jabal Prabhupada, and now Sam is there as Chief Justice. I lay case put to some case, Mansi Kigari Bane, you Kai's girl. So, what I'm trying to say, the opinion. The disagreement with respect for Gareka Chavani, if you respect that, you do not know the time on the carry, that single opinion which is we may not like at that point of time, but we have considered that opinion. That may become a significant after some period of time, like for example, A.D. Jabalpurko, the majority in case, but some case said that's wrong, that A.D.M. Jabalpurko Junchai, Justice H.R. Khanna was absolutely right. Vanda you America Tirapani, Ekdame Tulo Yuskuraba Charcha Bay, India Machi, Justice H.R. Khanna Kote, everywhere in statute Unupacha, in our legal language map. Like, for example, Contempt of Court, again, you know that Contempt of Court Act, Contempt of Court, whether civil societies can, how much they can exercise their freedom of speech, where they are stopped. There is a res like there are a lot of people there. Arundhati Roy has been put in the prison. Then Prashant itself was into the dog. So too many things happen. Why content? So the basically what is a respectful? So the contempt of court is came in the form of Article 19.1 A co reasonable restrictions. So they say that judgment of the court once the court declared the judgment, it's a public document. You can criticize it. Because criticism is a healthy, we have to respect that criticism. There has to have a, but you cannot demean that particular judge. You cannot target the institution. So therefore, contempt court has the law has evolved. See, you can see the content, the subject, but how and manner the person has said so and so. This person is so and so. The institution is corrupt. So this might again call for, uh, for the contempt act. Therefore, there is a thin line. You can have a criticism. You can disagree with the judgment which is passed. There's a bar. You cannot go into the person. So the whole idea of a disagreement itself is a not going into the person individually. I may not like that person individually, but the point of view which the person has expressed, it is the idea. The, we must appreciate whether the idea is click to me or not to click me, but at the same time, I should be a patient listener. And I must agree, because in democracy, every person has a right to disagree. That is also a fundamental right. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Sumnima, ma'am. Ma'am, how can we recognize and overcome cognitive biases and emotional triggers that can lead to unproductive and disrespectful conflict. Okay, thank you for the question. So when you talk about cognitive biases, uh, before cognitive biases, I would just like to give a small uh, thing about, there's something called cognitive dissonance, is what I've been hearing since I'm a child. So with that, you know, I go to Darjeeling and then I see that, you know, the roads are, you know, the dirty, the roads are dirty and it's not, you know, the, so that sort of triggering, you know, factor that uh, that is going against my thoughts, that is what cognitive dissonance is. Okay. So now coming up to your point. So when we are, you know, when we are growing up, hami afnafno family ma afnafno, we have our own way of thinking. We have our own way of doing things, right? And we have our own ideals. We have our own ethics. But when cognitive dissonance happens, it sort of gets in our ego. Yes, it sort of gets in our ego ki, are no, it cannot be like that. Yes, so, you know, panel discussion, everyone has to be, you know, seated properly. How can it, so 
ego ma lagcha ni malai so next time to audina mo so that sort of you know that sort of cognitive dissonance that leads to this uh huge uh, what do you call it this ego booster okay that is very very harmful as an individual also to the entire society also okay like i said before individual is linked to the family family to the community community to the, to the society so if i am growing up with a sort of idea okay and it's going against my thought then i may that it may it may rise up to different sort of conflicts so that's how wars happen na that's how political conflicts happen because their ideology is not matching with someone else's ideology it's not matching and you know no one i will not say okay okay you are right maybe i also should think that way that absolutely does not happen so now it's harming the community so once a community is harmed so that is how war is happening that is how this genocide like in you know that is happening all over that happened before also that is how it occurred but people fail to realize that the traumatic experience that the community is having as a whole is going back to the individual we are suffering whether it is economically whether it is socially physically emotionally okay so like uh, like there's this article that says ki uh, children gives this research done where children of you know trauma victims of wars okay they were also emotionally unable to regulate their emotion they were not able to uh, you know manage their emotions they were not able to uh, you know think properly they had stress they had anxiety as equal as their forefathers who had undergone through war so it's an overall aspect it's an overall what if you say it it's a it's a global uh, you know causation and it's like a you know drift like one is causing the other but at the end it comes back in a circle okay. and wh- what was the second part of your question i'm so sorry how do we how do we recognize how do how do how can we recognize and overcome cognitive biases okay. uh, and emotional triggers that can uh, lead to unproductive and res- disrespectful conflict okay so like i said so if we manage our uh, you know so okay so that was the first part of the question that i said okay now how do we recognize it we recognize it so no one you know uh, no one does it overnight okay so we should recognize it in the form of learning like i said learning is the way is the very much you know existential of our human mind okay we can learn therefore we are humans and we can learn through society that is why we know we have known as social animals so if we start by our own selves by you know respectfully uh, you know listening to what the other person has to say while maintaining your opinion also like ma'am said that everyone is entitled to their opinion in the democratic society but just because i have my opinion does not mean i have to force it upon you okay so you can agree to disagree okay and you can give time to that other person you can try you can give space and time to yourself also everyone does not know everything so you should also know that you know you know you do not know everything so give time to yourself as much as you're giving time to listen to the other person give time to yourself try to try to reflect on what are the things that you're thinking about try to reflect on what are the things that you know you should be thinking about what are the things the other person is saying how is it affecting you so i think if we start with us being individuals okay if we start being a better person that's how our children will also look at us will learn that is how you know you can it's like a ripple effect that can happen thank you thank you ma'am uh, i mean uh, your second round ma chau ra panelist har ko bich ma pani kunai kura ma alikati asabati cha ya arko opinion cha bhane tyo pani rakhna saknu hunecha tapai le ra mero question cha arko bema sar lai 
जस्तो प्रकारले अहिले हामीले इन्डियाको मिनिस्ट्रीम मिडिया हेर्छौ अथवा मिनिस्ट्रीम कति जनाले नभेटौँ भन्छ यद्यपि मैले त्यही सम्म प्रयोग गरेँ मिनिस्ट्रीम मिडियामा अथवा टिभी मिडियामा जस्तो प्रकारले हामीले डिस्कसनहरू चलेको देख्छौँ या डिबेटहरू भएको देख्छौँ या उसले जस्तो प्रकारले सोसाइटीलाई चिजहरू दिँदैछ त्यसमा सम्मान भन्ने अथवा जुन रेस्पेक्ट भन्ने चिज चाहिँ प्रायः हामीले अहिले पाउँदैनौँ किनभने त्यो गाली गर्ने त्यस्तो किसिमको हामीले देख्छौँ धेरै जस्तो डिबेटहरूमा किन टिआरपीको लागि उहाँहरूले त्यस्तो गरेको भनिन्छ सो हामीले अहिलेको जुन अब डिजिटल मिडिया सँगसँगै जुन हाम्रो ट्रेडिसनल मिडिया छ यसको थ्रुबाट कस्तो प्रकारले नयाँ कार्यक्रमहरू अथवा नयाँ प्रोग्रामहरू चाहिँ हामीले दिन सक्छौँ या सुरु गर्न सक्छौँ क्रिएटिभ कामहरू जसले गर्दा चाहिँ हामीले यो रेस्पेक्टफुली डिसएग्री भन्ने कुरालाई पनि हामीले इस्टाब्लिस गर्न सक्छौँ जस्तो लाग्छ Yeah, if I had the answer, I'll be in Delhi, <laughs> launching a new channel. Um, so I, I think um, at the root of this uh, problem that you mentioned, you know, television on this, uh, I see that happen. I mean, we saw that happen in the parliament. So if um, very quickly giving you some background, till the time the parliament uh, debates, if you look at the earlier debates in parliament, you'll be surprised at how intelligent those discussions were, uh, because there was no television. at that time when the mps were de- debating issues in parliament they were trying to impress each other who are all intelligent people or they were trying to convince the other side with their arguments now the moment you put cameras into the parliament what happened is um, and it's not just one thing right many it, there is a positive people get to see what their representatives are doing but the moment you put the cameras in the parliament what happens is then you start performing for the camera So then you have these guys who will get up, they'll shout, they'll scream, they'll throw microphones at the speaker, because I'm doing that not for the debate, but I'm doing it for my voters back home. So that my voters back home, uh, if I'm from Darjeeling, they know that like oh, Korhala and Kolagi, pura kara era pura. So we have that risk happening now in courts where uh, you have cameras placed in courts for the live proceedings, and very soon I have a feeling I could be wrong. we could have uh, like hollywood sequences where the lawyers and dr thoma will tell me if that's true will be performing for an audience right where you have got dialogue bazi happening and not so much the justice part of it so that's one uh, big problem because that is what and that's what happened with television uh, why did television uh, content become so poor is because uh, if it is uh, look at reality tv i mean big boss everyone watches Uh, not for any life lessons or entertainment quotient but for everything else that is happening there right so we we are drawn to this uh, television once advertising budgets went down and they could not have correspondents go to the field and to the locations to report they suddenly realize it's so much cheaper to put 20 people in the studio and just let them shout at each other because the audience loves it we all love arguments and cat fights and uh, public that is what happened uh, so how do we change it we can't i mean don't look at the media to change it right because we are creating content and uh, we have to survive so i'll produce what is being watched which will get advertisements and uh, that's how it works so um, yeah i mean if you look at the last week uh, in sikkim i was just thinking last time so i um what kind of news sells on social media news platforms is uh, i saw that something on uh, so dead bodies accidents uh, some politician having a meltdown and like uh, saying the vilest stuff on camera that gets uh, footage uh, so much so that people will run bits and pieces of the same news two three times i saw that happening in the last one week in sikkim as well and if you look at somewhere where people are sitting like this and discussing respectfully uh, I, i don't know how many people will watch so um, it's for the audience what people have what we have to as media persons i mean you are from the media this whole organization i think what we have to our responsibility is to convince the people on why do we need disagreements to begin with uh, you need disagreements because that refines your own arguments like i believe in something um, and unless you challenge me and i have to explain myself my own understanding of that belief does not get any better right if i am just sitting among friends and i tell them uh, uh that uh, i don't know uh, i am at summit times so summit times is the best media house in sikkim and it's only summit times people sitting there then of course i believe it they believe it and we support each other if there's someone from sikkim express 
uh, out there who says, no, sorry, you're wrong, we are better. And then I have to defend my point of view, right? So we need this to become better versions of ourselves. I frankly, uh, so how media can do it and how our audience can do it, I believe, is that if we start supporting what is called explanatory journalism more, uh, we have too much of incident reporting. Something happened, I go there with a camera, microphone, or a pen and paper, if anyone is still doing that. Uh, we go there, report an accident took place, um, a public meeting took place, a court decision was made. We are just reporting incidents there. What we don't have, and unfortunately in Sikkim right now, not much of it, is explanatory journalism, where you're explaining issues, where you're explaining situations. Like, I'm absolutely fine if you report an accident. But if you're still talking about that accident tomorrow, I want you to explain to me why these accidents are taking place and what can be done to improve them. So when we start doing that, yeah, I mean, yeah, support that journalism. That will be fun. I mean, all journalists clap. So, well, so what I mean is they're all dying to do something like this, but the audience is not allowing it. I think all the, their bosses are not allowing it. So I think that is how we do. That is how we improve things. Uh, when we start explaining, uh, when journalism becomes about explaining issues, is when we allow our audience also to look at the other side and see that, okay, there is another side uh, to this whole discussion, this whole debate. We saw that a lot during when the Andolan was happening in Darjeeling, right? Since uh, the partners of this organ, like this event are from Siliguri. We saw that happen a lot, right? That uh, Sikkim complaining about uh, being so inconvenienced and the people in Darjeeling thinking, why can't you also suffer a bit with us to get our voice heard? And uh, both were right in a way, right? So I, I guess that is what is required. I think more explanatory journalism, if we support, uh, which is good journalism, if there can be such a thing. So I, I, the audience and uh, the reporters, I think, yeah, the reporters have to just tell their editors that, sorry, I'm not going to a press conference, I'll go to the field and do some reporting. <laughs> yeah, some rebellion, I think that's how we'll, uh, we, we'll do better.